Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and today is day six of my 12 days of Christmas projects. We're halfway through, I can't believe it. Um, I actually got two days <laughs> mixed up. I did day six, shop the town yesterday. So today I'm actually catching up and doing day five. Mary Ann Bright, I figured you guys didn't care if I got off schedule a little bit. Um, we're going to use the Mary Ann Bright bundle. This is a fabulous bundle, Christmas lights. It was the first thing that I used um, from this new catalog. I had a Club Create kit um, that used this bundle, and it was really fun. So I came up with two more projects for today, and I think you're really going to like them. Um, the first thing that we're going to make is a box. This is, um, it uses the Joy of Christmas designer series paper. You can use any paper that you want. Um, I use the paper to actually cut out the lights. Inside are these Russell Stover ornament truffles. They're ornament shaped and the box will hold two of them. Okay, let's make our box first. All right, the first thing you're gonna need is a piece of real red cardstock that measures six and a half by nine and a fourth. On the long side, we're gonna score it at one and a fourth, four and a fourth, five and a half, and eight and a half. All right, and then you're gonna turn it to the uh, short side and score it at one and a fourth and five and a fourth. Now you'll notice this tab over here on the right side, that last score line created a three quarters inch tab. This is the side that's gonna tuck down into our box. So a lot of times when I make a box, the paper is symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which end you start on, but this one is a little bit different. So you're gonna wanna make sure you pay attention to where that smaller tab is. So put the three quarter inch tab on the right side and go through and snip the score lines for these larger sections. Cut off the corners of your square tabs. Snip and snip, okay? And then this one right here, you can see it's smaller. We're gonna completely cut that off. And when I do, I'm cutting this tab at an angle as well. Okay, so just move around. Now over here, we're gonna cut those corners. These um, Russell Stover chocolates, I have found at Walgreens. Um, I tend to find the Russell Stovers at the pharmacies a little bit easier than, like I don't, I didn't see them at Target, but maybe Walmart has them too. You'll have to look in your area. All right, let me get my trash picked up and then I'm gonna show you what this looks like. All right, so that's right now where we're at. The last thing we're gonna do is cut these at a, an angle because this is what we're gonna tuck in and if you cut them at an angle, it's good, they're gonna go in much easier. And I'm not just cutting a little sliver off, I'm cutting a pretty good corner like that. Okay, now here's what your finished piece looks like. All right, now grab your adhesive of choice. Mine is liquid glue. I live in a very humid climate and I find that liquid glue is the best option for me. Tear and tape would be great also, so would uh, Stamp and Seal Plus. All right, so I've put adhesive on the outside of those squares and I'm folding them into the inside side tabs, the inside side tabs, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then you wanna make sure that those edges line up and are square right there on those corners. All right, so put the clothes pins there that will help you get a nice, good seal on your tab. You really wanna make sure that that is flush. All right, we're gonna set this aside. Whoops, we're gonna set this aside and let it dry while we work on the other part. Now I have done a bunch of things ahead of time because these are a little bit tedious. Um, you want to cut out three ornaments from your designer series paper. And I think that this paper has actually sold out, but I mean, any paper will work. Seriously, any paper. All right, I have cut out the little tops of the ornaments from silver foil. And we're gonna put these right on top. Like that. 
All right, let's set that aside. I have a piece of basic white here and let's grab a grid sheet. The measurements for this will be on my blog today. So click the link here. You can go over there and find them. I'm also typing up a complete PDF of all, it's gonna actually be 25 projects that will be available after the um, 12 days. So you can have it to save for the future. This, those measurements will be in there as well. All right, I'm gonna stamp this. Let's see, how did I stamp it? Let me look. That loop I put kind of over in the left corner and I'm using um, pebbled path ink. All right, now notice there's a little glow around my lights. To do that, you're just gonna get your small blending brushes and you're gonna get the inks that match the designer series paper. In our case, we're using uh, real red. I'm gonna run it off here so it's not gonna be too dark and I'm gonna put some red like that and some red like that. And then get your shaded spruce and put that there in the middle like that. So it's gonna look like our ornaments are glowing. Now I'm gonna attach these with dimensionals. There's one. There's two and three. We'll put right there on the loop like that. Okay. Now for our sentiment, got lots of great sentiment choices in this set. Lots. I decided to use some of these block um, sentiments, these block words, and I'm going to stamp Mary and Bright in real red on basic white. And I'm just going to use my scissors to cut them out. Very easy. They're just rectangles. Whoops. And I'm not leaving too much of a white border on there. I'm just kind of cutting right on the edge. All right, now let's get our many dimensionals. And we're gonna put these right across the, the ornaments. So we'll do this one kind of like that. And, ooh, I got two and one, there we go. And then that one can go like that. All right, now let's put our box together. I think we've had enough time to get it to close or to dry. And we'll put these cocoa truffle ornaments in to fit perfectly. Slide, these are gonna need to slide on either side, so kind of tuck them in. Slide that down and slide that down, and there is your box. Now, before we put the other part on there, let's grab our ribbon. And we'll tie a bow around. This is gonna keep our box closed. Like that. And then we're gonna put this on. How about we close these ink pads? Because you know what happens when you leave an ink pad open. Disaster strikes, usually. I dropped a stack of dimensionals face down into a Calypso Coral ink pad the other day. <laughs> it was not pretty. All right, now I'm going to put this on with, I think I'm going to use liquid glue for the top. It's gonna sandwich in that ribbon too to keep that ribbon in place. Let's put a little bit of glue on top of the ribbon. And we're gonna put that right there. Shaded spruce cardstock is what that is on that mat. Last but not least, let's add a few silver dots. These are the festive pearls. They're actually from the annual catalog, not the holiday catalog.
Uh, maybe one more. There we go. All right. There you go. That would make a fun treat for the teachers. I always think of those teachers or your neighbor, your mailman, whoever you want to give a treat to. Um, and everybody loves a chocolate truffle, right? <laughs> I know I do. Okay, now our next project is a card. And I decided to be a little non-traditional with my colors here. And we're gonna stamp these ornaments. You know, for this stamp set, for this bundle, you have lots of options. You can just die cut paper like we did before, um, or you can stamp. And I really like the stamps. You know what I realized? I just forgot to do something on the other project. See how that has a little line right there? I actually added that shine mark to mine and I forgot to do it here. So I'm just gonna use my white um, watercolor pencil. If you have a gel marker, that would work too. And this dimensional has got a little hanger on there. You can use a gel pen might be a little bit brighter. All right, so I just that just popped in my mind as soon as I saw that shine mark right there. I remembered I forgot it. But we're gonna stamp this in a rainbow of colors. All right, the ink colors that I decided to use are, here they are, in their rainbow order. Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, Azure Afternoon, Coastal Cabana, and Gorgeous Grape. All right, so we're just gonna go one at a time with our bulb. And each time we're gonna have to clean our stamp afterwards. All right, so Poppy Parade first. Okay, clean it really good. And then Pumpkin Pie. Clean it really good, because next we're doing a yellow, and yellow will show any color that you have there on your, on your um, stamp. Okay, Daffodil Delight. These colors make me so happy. Next is Coastal Cabana. Azure Afternoon. This is a great bright blue. And last but not least, Gorgeous Grape. All right, now you're gonna take your die. Let's see, this die right here, and you actually have two of them, and cut these out. Also, use this die right here, and you have two of those also, to cut six silver foil um, light bulb toppers. And then this one right here, this is the little wire on the inside of the light bulb. Cut out six of, oops, well you could use that one too, this is the one I use, six of those from silver foil. And I recommend putting an adhesive sheet on the back of your silver foil before you cut it. Now, I've already done all of that ahead of time, so I can just show you how to put it together. When you put an adhesive sheet on the back, before you cut it, it just makes things so much easier. You could take your, take your pick tool and peel off that backing and put that right there and then this one too now this is a little bit tedious it's going to take you a few minutes to do all six but i really think it is well worth it all right so that's what they look like and i have done the rest of them ahead of time yay now let's start putting them on our piece of basic white. I have embossed this with a snowflake sky embossing folder. And we're just gonna grab our dimensionals and start layering them. And I'm gonna start from the middle and work my way out. Okay, I'm gonna start with my Coastal Cabana. And we're gonna kind of lean it in that way. And then my Daffodil Delight. That may need to go over a little bit like that. All right, let's do pumpkin pie. And each one of them is gonna kind of be turned a little bit differently so that they're not all exactly the same. And you may have to rearrange them as you go. Let's see. All right, over on the left side now, we've got Azure Afternoon. 
And then we've got Poppy Parade and Gorgeous Grape on the end. And I'm gonna actually tuck these behind like that. Now let's see how we look. Yep, that's pretty good, I think. This one might need to go in just a little bit, which means I have to open this one up a little bit and tuck that one in behind. Let's put that like that. There we go. So play around with them. Your dimensionals will let you pull them up as you go. They don't stick. After about an hour, they are stuck very hard and it's hard to pull them up. But as you're manipulating them like that, it's pretty easy. All right, now I have cut three basic white snowflakes and I'm gonna tuck them in behind. It's tone on tone, so they're not real obvious. I didn't wanna take away from the rainbow. But I just thought adding a few little snowflakes in there would be a nice touch peeking out. Okay, now for our sentiment, I have stamped the Holly Jolly in white, actually in Versamark, and then embossed it with white. And I'm gonna take my pencil and draw my cutting lines around it so that I know exactly where to cut. And it's basic black, but you can see the, the, um, the pencil line, no problem. All right, so this is gonna keep you from making any mistakes as you're cutting. You've drawn the line so your eye knows exactly where to go. So get your paper snips and just cut along that line and go slow. I'm going fast, I need to slow down. Now, if you don't wanna do this kind of fussy cutting, stamp the words like we did um, in the previous project they're, those are easier to cut out, the, the more rectangle words. Cut that extra cardstock off as you go. That will help you turn your paper with ease. When you do this without drawing the pencil line, you're just guessing on where to go. And if you cut in too far, then that's it. You can't fix it. But if you have that pencil line, you can fix it by erasing the pencil line before you cut it. All right, there we go, holly jolly. We're gonna get a couple of dimensionals. You know what, I think I have black dimensionals here. That way it'll fade in. Look at that, one, two, and last but not least, three. And let's put that right across the bottom like that. All right, now we're gonna add a few more of those pearls that we used, the festive silver pearls. Oh, that one got turned upside down. Let's see if I can fix it. All right, I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle them around like that. All right, now all we have to do now is put it on our card base. And I went with black. I really wanted these colors to pop. So I've got black on here, basic black card base. And I'm just gonna put it on here with regular adhesive. Now, because our card is black, we need to also put a piece of basic white on the inside. And you could, I didn't do this, but you could add some more stamped images in here if you want. There's a string of lights stamp, actually a string of lights die that you could add in here, or you could just stamp a few of these or even the stars. All right, guys, that's it for today. I think this may be my favorite so far. I don't know, I feel like I say that every day. I hope you are enjoying 12 Days of Christmas. Tomorrow, we will be doing the Very Cute Bundle. So make sure to look for that. Um, hop back to my blog. There's six days of projects. There's actually 13 projects so far. We did a three on Friday. And uh, let me know if you have questions. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye.